Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 35, and this is another user request lesson about how to have your Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi turn off automatically after you disconnect from a connection and a certain amount of time passes without you connecting to something else. And so that's what this lesson does. I'm going to show you how it works. If you look right up here in my notification, you'll see that I am connected to a Bluetooth device. Um, but I'm going to turn that device off and you'll see in just a second, it's going to disconnect. It just disconnected, but you see the Bluetooth symbol. It is on, but I have Tasker set up so that it's going to wait a, uh, a few seconds and it's going to test and see if I'm connected anything and you see it just turned my Bluetooth off because it waited the number of seconds I specified I wasn't reconnected to anything else so it turned my Bluetooth off and you can see my Bluetooth is off so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this lesson obviously you're probably going to do a little more than a few seconds maybe five minutes maybe 20 minutes it's up to you so uh, let's just jump into Tasker and I'll show you exactly how to set this profile up for yourself to use with either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi Okay, so you saw what the profile did uh, with the Bluetooth, and this can be applied to Bluetooth or to Wi-Fi. And so now I'm going to show you how to set that up. So I'm going to click the plus button, and we're going to start by creating our profile. And basically what you have to do first is you have to create your own sort of vari variable state. There's not a built-in tasker variable that says, is Bluetooth connected to something or not? Now, see, you might think to yourself, why isn't that a built-in variable? It seems like it should be, and maybe, but it doesn't have to be because uh, the developer of Tasker made it so that you could create that yourself, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go call this 101 BT Connect State. So the state of the uh, Bluetooth connection. Is it connected to something or not? And we're going to click a check. And we're going to choose uh, state. And then we're going to choose uh, net. And then we're going to choose Bluetooth connected. Now if you only wanted this to trigger when it's connected to a specific Bluetooth, you could do that. But for our purposes, we want this to trigger anytime it's connected to any Bluetooth. And you could also do the same thing with Wi-Fi. So we're going to leave this blank so that it will happen anytime it connects to any Bluetooth device. And I click the little back button to save it. And we're going to create a new task. This is going to be 101 BT state on. So it, when it connects to something, we want to create our own variable that lets us know that it is connected. So we're going to choose variables, we're going to choose variable set, and we're going to create our own variable. I'm going to call this 101BT connect. Except I didn't type that very well. State. And we're going to set it to 1. So when it's connect, we're going to set to 1. 1 stands for on. And we're going to click back. And you see, when Bluetooth is connected, when it connects to any Bluetooth device, it's going to make that variable on. Uh, uh, well, it's going to make that variable 1 is what it's going to do set that variable to 1. But we want it to switch it to something else so that we also know when it's not on. So long press that, add exit task, new task, 101 BT connect Plus sign, variables, variable set. You can choose the label this time because that variable should be there now. BT connect state. And we're going to set it to zero. Zero is going to stand for off. 
So basically now we have an inner task so that when our phone connects, our Bluetooth on our phone connects to any device, it sets that variable to 1, which is going to stand for on for us, and then when it disconnects from a device, it's going to set that variable to 0, which means disconnected. So we've connect, we, what we've done is we've created our own sort of universal variable that any time uh, any other task we're using in, in task or any other profile we create, we can uh, test to see if we're connected or not. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a second profile. And we're going to call this Bluetooth. Actually, I should put a one-on-one -on -one in front of it, which you do not have to do, but I have to do it so that I can keep all these things I create for you guys separate from the ones I create for myself. So one-on-one BT, BT, Bluetooth uh, disconnected. You can tell I'm a tired puppy. Um, and we're going to click state. We're going to click net. We're going to click Bluetooth connected. But we're going to invert it so that this triggers anytime you disconnect from a Bluetooth device. We're going to create a new task. We're going to call this 101. And we'll call this Bluetooth test end. Because what we're going to do is we're going to see if our Bluetooth is uh, actually uh, connected or not and then we're going to perform an action based on that so first thing we're going to do is we're going to wait so let's choose task and choose wait and this could be whatever time you want it to be but I'm going to say for my purposes five minutes wait five minutes and then choose net choose bluetooth and I'm going to leave it to set off if, and now here's where we choose that state that we created, Bluetooth Connect state, matches zero, which would mean it's not connected to anything. And there you have it. That's, that's it. We created two profiles. Our first profile assigns a variable of one when the state of Bluetooth is connected to something and assigns a variable of zero whenever it is not connected to something. And then we use that, that, uh, that variable that tells us the state of the Bluetooth being connected to something or not to test it. So that now if we're connected to our car and we get out of our car, so it disconnects, it will trigger this uh, uh, profile. And what will this profile do? It'll wait five minutes and then it'll test to see are we still disconnected or still not connected to anything it's still the connect state variable still says zero then I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth now if you got out of your car and you disconnected and this was triggered and then you walked into your house and you connected to your uh, Bluetooth stereo then this variable because of that other profile we created this variable would change to one so it would not match and it would not turn your Bluetooth off. This is basically a way to just, you know, uh, if you don't want to leave your Bluetooth on all the time or your Wi-Fi on all the time, it's a way to have it uh, wait whatever period of time you want it to wait, anytime you disconnect, and then test to see if you've reconnected to something, and if not, turn it off. And it would work exactly the same way with Wi-Fi as it works with Bluetooth. But uh, uh, that is basically yeah, that's all you have to do. It's uh, pretty simple to set up, um, and if that's what you're looking to uh, accomplish, it'll work perfectly. So anyway, that's going to be it for lesson 35. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. If so, please click that like button. Head over to my channel. Check out all the other uh, task or tutorials that I have. Lots and lots and lots of them, as well as close to 200 Android app reviews, so you can find out about really cool Android apps. And then also do a lot of tech gadgets and household product reviews. You can check those out, find out some cool uh, accessories to go with your phone, your tablet, all that fun stuff. Subscribe, favorite your favorite playlist, and please share this video with anyone you know who might be interested. Anyway, that is it. Until next time, so have fun with Tasker.